hello there and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to use regular expressions in c sharp windows forms application specifically to restrict the inputs received by our users so what do i mean by that let's get practical i'm going to go to my toolbox here i've already created a project and that is the first form that you are seeing I'm going to use um, ellipse from Guna to get this form a bit nicely designed. Okay, so I'm faced with some errors. Let me just ignore that for now. So let me just pull up the text box. This is what we have. Increase the size a bit to let's say uh, 60. Probably would have to allow a multi line something so that you can easily work with it. Let me also bring a label. Label. And this label is going to have a font size probably about, let's say, 14. Let's just name this to be. What do we want to accept? We are going to accept only numbers, okay? Only numbers. So let's say, um, the numbers that we want to accept, we want a dot to be included. So we're going to say, okay, months can be okay for our demonstration. Also, give this text box a name that we can make reference to in the code. So, txt amount. So, if we should test this program by clicking on start or debug it, Okay, so this is what we have basically. So we can see that go to input text and even numbers. I think the font size of this form is very small. I mean, for the input box, it's very small. So what do I do? Come to the font and I'm going to increase this one to let's say four. And I believe with that, we should have something that is appreciable. Six, seven, and then mixed with what numbers and then dots. Now we only want to restrict this text box to accept something like okay, maybe 45.7. That's this. And then when we enter any form of character, apart from what the numbers, it's not going to be allowed. So let's go and then see how best we can do that. So with this text box selected, let's come to the events tab here in our properties let's come to the event tab and then let's look for one event called keep press press this one so it says that keep press occurs when a control has focus and the user presses and releases it okay so let's use that so i'm just going to double click on this and then it brings me to um the code or the source code for this particular form now we are going to make use of what a regular expression what class so we have to define some few variables i'm just going to say var let me increase this one a bit i'm just going to say var i'll say regex regex basically mean regular expression all right so i'll say equals new new regex like so and i'll say at I would have to specify the pattern for which uh, I want my inputs to match. So open codes and inside the code like so, open was two square brackets. Now inside the square brackets, you are going to say, okay, everything that stems from the input box should be what's matched. And then I'm going to say, okay, we want to accept only characters from all numbers from zero up onto nine. 
Then we also want to allow a dot by show. And then we also want to allow, let's say, a backspace for you to be able to delete the inputs and all that. So backward slash and then B. And then you come outside, then you are just going to terminate this. This is complaining of something. Let's just import the namespace for this regular expression. So right click on this yellow ball, I mean the light bulb icon, and then say using system.text the regular expression. So when you come here, you're going to see it right here. Now we need to perform some few if checks. So I'm going to say that if regis, okay, dot as much, much e dot e car, dot to string, like so. Then what can we possibly do? So we can say e dot handle. I mean, e dot handle and set this one to what true. Now what is going on here? You see there is a key press event which is having um handler to be what e as this handler here is not going to be able to determine whatever key that was present then we can what perform um a check on that input or that event with this method here as much and then it's going to compare it against the pattern that you define here if it is matches then it's going to handle it if it does not, then it will still handle it, but it would prevent it from reflecting in the text box. So let's go and test this one out. Start. And then this time around, let's try to say H. So for me to really demonstrate this, let me pull up on screen keyboard like so. We better see what I'm typing. So focus this. And then when I type, you see, when you type, anything that is what alphabet but it's not allowing but when i trigger the the dots you could see that it has reflected and then the delete is not working but the backspace is working so let me just say okay one two three dots this is working indeed yes yes so that is basically how to go about this in c sharp thank you for watching if you like this one Give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do that it goes a long way to help the channel grow and i appreciate it so much i'll see you in another one so then happy coding bye